I always had hopes of being a big star. I would go to the auditions. They would look like they were impressed, as though I had done something that single me out as something special. But in the end, it wouldn't lead anywhere. But I still kept going. Still chasing that dream of being a star. When I was growing up, you were you were told about the dream that if you work hard, were kind and honest and um, hardworking, you could be anything you wanted to be. The problem was that I never told you that the world didn't allow everyone to reach their dream. That you might not even get close. It wasn't intentionally cruel. They just wanted you to enjoy life. To try and um, make up for their lost dream. It doesn't make it any less painful, though. Now, with the current children, the children that are young, that go to balls, they have turned to television. I have been to several balls, and they actually have categories. Dynasty, where they want to look like Alexis, like Crystal. And I guess that is, um, a statement of the time. If you're shown to be important, people will want to emulate you, to try and convince people you have that same star quality. When I was growing up, you wanted to look like Marlena Dietrich, Betty Grable. Fortunately for me, who I really wanted to look like was Lena Horn. Nobody wanted to look like Lena Horn. Everybody wanted to look like Marilyn Monroe and set themselves too big a task. Now I come from the old school of big costumes and feathers, beads, and they don't have that anymore. Now it's all about design. And it's not about what you can create, but what you can acquire. If you have on a label, it means that you, you've got wealth, success, you mean something. But it doesn't really. Any shoplifter can get a label. A lot of shoplifters nowadays, pinching from wherever they can find, because they can. And it doesn't matter about talent, or skill, or originality. 
All that really matters is that you are seen as famous, as someone who matters. I always did have hopes of being a star. And then I look, as you get older, you aim a little lower. And you say, yeah, well, you still might make an impression. Everybody wants to leave something behind them, some impression, some mark upon the world. And then you think, you left a mark on the world. If you just get through it. If a few people remember your name, remember who you were and what you did, then you left a mark. You don't have to bend the whole world. I think it's better to just enjoy it. Pay your dues and enjoy it. If you shoot an arrow when it goes real high, <laughs> hooray for you.